Today I have a review slash experiment wrapped into one. I'm looking at this TDS meter to test the purity level of my water. So in other words, how many total dissolved solids are in my water. So this is a cool little tester that I found. It doesn't tell you what specific molecules aside from H2O are inside the water, but it does give you in parts per million the total dissolved solids. So the closer you are to zero, the purer your water. And I think under 100 is supposed to be good. They say it on the back here. So it can range from zero to 9,990. And the US EPA's maximum contaminant levels of TDS for human consumption is 500 ppm. So you don't want to get higher than that. If you are higher than that, then you definitely, definitely need to filter your water. But for coffee purposes, anything under 100 should be good. Um, I think I read this somewhere, I can't remember where. So what I have here is I've got tap water, I've got an old filter, it's a generic Brita filter, so I think it's about five, six months old, and then a new filter that I just put in as replacement. So I was just curious what readings I was going to get for each of them. I am in San Francisco, so the tap water is actually pretty good here soft water but anyway it's cool to compare it and I might actually do a, a blind taste test later on so this meter it compensates for water temperature so if you have hotter water it will influence your readings and then it has this whole button so 47 was the reading for tap water not bad so let's do the old filter now And you want to leave it in for about 10 seconds at least. So slightly better at 35. Forty-four. So that's interesting. The older filter apparently has a lower TDS. Now this could be just because I didn't run enough cycles. Um, there's probably still some carbon in the filter or in the water, but anything under 50 I would say is really good. And what you want to be using for coffee under 100 is also acceptable, but under 50 would be ideal. So, again, that's this TDS reader. I think it's about 20 bucks on Amazon, but you definitely want to know your water before you start brewing coffee. If you're using hard water with your coffee, you're going to get pretty uh, subpar results. So you want to make sure your coffee is as pure, or sorry, not your coffee, your water is as pure as possible. Now, having said that, there are plenty of people who know water better than me who are far smarter than me on the topic at least, and they'll tell you that there actually are some molecules in water that react well with coffee and can actually result in a better tasting cup, which of course is subjective, but keep in mind that just because you do have some, t um, some molecules in your water that, I mean, to say that just because your water isn't totally pure doesn't mean that your coffee won't taste great.